So you've updated your NVIDIA Shield to the all new Shield Experience 9.0, which as you know, gives you Android 11. Now, unfortunately, many things are broken in this new update. I've seen lots of reports online, everything from Plex issues, storage issues, permission issues. And as I mentioned in my last video, the ability to use a virtual pointer for your side loaded applications or other applications is just not working anymore. So what can we do? Well, I have found two fixes for that. One of them is ready for this video. The other one requires a little bit more work. So I will show you what it looks like, but I will save that for another video. Now to get this on your device, if I just press the home key, I can now grab my iPhone or my Android phone, open up the Play Store. Inside the App Store, I can go to search and just type in Shield TV. Let's go for the first one. That's the official application there. Let's click on get. Once we've installed that, let's now click on open. Now this will now automatically do a scan of the devices on your network and it should be able to identify your Nvidia Shield. Let's click on OK. Click on continue. Click on OK again. And there we can see it's found mine with the IP address ending in 109. Now if for whatever reason it cannot find your device, just find the IP address of your Shield, which you can do by going to at the context menu, Go to your network and whether you're using Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you can find your IP address. Once you've found your IP address, go back into the application, click on pair using IP and you can now manually type in your address. But in my case, because it found my device, I can just click on that device. We can see I now get a prompt on my shield asking me to pair that with this shield remote control. So I just type in the code 815772. That's now gone in. Now the first thing you'll see with this official remote control, it does a scan of the applications on your device. And I can now actually launch these applications directly from this remote control. So let's say for example, I want to uh, launch this speed test. I can click on that. And that automatically invokes the application. And we can now see a speed test happening on my Nvidia Shield. I can now press the back button on my phone and you really can do a lot with this application, everything from text input to voice input and lots of other features. Like for example, you can even find your remote control. So let's say your shield remote has gone under the couch or behind somewhere, how do you find it? Well, if you click on the three dots on the top right, click on find my remote. Now click on start. And what do we have now? Your remote is now buzzing and you can hopefully find out where it is. So lots of cool features. Do leave me a comment below if you already knew about the find remote feature of this application. But what we're really interested in is the ability to use a virtual mouse. Okay, so let's now actually start an application where you would use a virtual mouse. So let's press back again. Let's press the home key. In fact, let's double press the home key. I can now see the running things in the background. And we can see at the moment I'm on the swipe pad. But if I click on the drop down box, I can change that to D pad. I can now just press left once. And we can see I'm able to fully control my shield by just using my phone. Let's open up the Aurora store, which gives you access to the entire Play Store on any of your devices, but unfortunately does need a virtual mouse. So how do we bring that up? If I go to the drop down again, so instead of the D-pad, I'm now going to select trackpad. And now when I move my finger on my phone, there we have it guys. We now have a fully functional virtual mouse. I can now click on an application uh, like Discord tap that on my phone and that automatically selects that. I can now go to the top left, click on back and it also supports two finger scrolling. So using two fingers, I can go down, which is basically swiping down. And again, I can swipe back up. So it really does give you the complete functionality of a mouse that you can use with your phone. And again, if I want to click on something, uh, let's try this uh, Disney plus. We are straight in there. I can access that. And not just inside this application, if I press the home key, we can see even on the home UI, I'm able to use a virtual mouse. I can launch Mi Explorer just for a test. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag NVIDIA, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comments working absolutely fine. So that's probably the easiest and the quickest way to get the virtual mouse working once again on Android 11. 
Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, the other option we have is not fully ready. It does have a few bugs, but I'm in talks with the developer and I'm hoping he can come up with a fix. So let me close my phone. And the way this works is more like your traditional mouse toggle. I can now hold down the play button. That brings up a virtual mouse. And now we can see if I want to click on something, just using my remote control, I can click here and that clicks fine. I can back out of this application. And again, in this application, I can click on things. I can go back and uh, let's try a different application. Uh, this one over here, click that. So clicks are registering fine, but we can see when I press the back button and let's say I want to scroll down. So if I now enable the scroll mode, so now when I press down on the remote, we can see the scrolling does work, but occasionally it does lag. Well, even though I'm not pressing anything now, we can see it's still scrolling. So there's a bit more work to do on this, but the developer is being really responsive, really helpful. So as soon as I get an updated version, I will share it with you guys straight away. So make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.